In the past two decades, few aspects of vascular disease have changed more than the management of abdominal aortic aneurysms. Abdominal aortic aneurysms impact 200,000 Americans annually, and 15,000 Americans will die from ruptured aneurysms each year. Therapeutic treatment options in the past two decades have drastically changed, directed towards a minimally invasive approach. Of the patients who have abdominal aortic aneurysms, between 30 and 40 percent are not appropriate candidates due to anatomic limitations. With that being the case, in 2012, the FDA approved Cook Zenith Fenister to endograft for a pair of aneurysms that are close to or involve the paravisceral segment. That would be vessels of the renal arteries, mesenteric arteries, and celiac artery. Here at UPMC, we have the opportunity to utilize a device called the Cook Zenith P-Branch device which is an off-the-shelf device that allows us to fix patients with a fenestrated component to address aneurysms that involve the mesenteric vessels. For patients who have aneurysms that extend to the common iliac arteries, there are two FDA trial devices that are being investigated at UPMC. The Cook internal branch along with the Gore internal branch devices are both currently being utilized and trialed at multiple centers throughout the United States. These devices are advantageous in situations for when patients have aneurysms extending to both common iliac arteries. Maintaining pelvic perfusion is critically important to minimize the risk of pelvic ischemia, debilitating gluteal claudication, and possibly vasculogenic impotence. There are a multitude of therapeutic treatment options for treating aortic aneurysms. Conventional surgery will continue to be performed. However, to minimize the morbidity and mortality associated with aortic surgery, a less invasive or endovascular approach appears to be preferential. The future of aortic aneurysm surgery continues to trend in the direction of minimally invasive approaches. I foresee many changes with advanced technology that will minimize the number of patients who are not currently candidates for a less invasive approach. Ideally, this would improve outcomes, improve quality of life, along with minimizing morbidity and mortality for this patient population.